Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about the short squeeze in a few months, how short are out of liquidity by end of May, the bottom is in for AMC and many more in this video. Now take a look at this prediction. Market will see a meme 2.0 event in the coming months. Fed will act as if they haven't been preparing for three years, blaming Swiss regulators slash their handling of Credit Suisse for the fallout. Thank goodness the US banking system is so resilient they will say. Now, this is obviously to be looking at everything that has happened recently. Now, we already know what's happening in terms of the Swiss regulations. We can see how they're right now trying to prevent UBS from actually crumbling and collapsing. And again, we knew that with the toxic swaps of Credit Suisse and how that's become a dire situation. And that is going to be one of the major catalysts which will obviously trigger this event because AMC short squeeze and the AMC um, toxic swaps that's contained by Credit Suisse goes hand in hand. So if they still don't have a way of obviously solving that, then again, when UBS actually collapsed, it's very likely to be seeing the short squeeze. But not only that, we can see the quote here, thank goodness the US banking system is so resilient and they will say. Now, we've already seen actually in the recent articles how they're trying to prevent the banking system as if there's something actually coming. What we've seen is how they're making statements to say that they are able to handle if banks were to collapse. They're able to handle if a market recession were to ha um, happen and they are able to save the banks. You can also see how recently they changed how much um, banks need in terms of liquidity, how much money that banks get, etc, etc. And so what we're seeing is a lot of movements, a lot of um, solutions right now to help prevent banks from collapsing in a event of massive volatility. And again, it looks like they are preparing for something. And so what we're seeing here in terms of market, we'll see a meme 2.0 event in the coming months. It does seemingly look like it's very, very likely, or at least that's what it looks like in terms of how they're preparing themselves for the next few months as they have more regulations, more rules, and the statements in terms of their saying how they can help banks prevent um, defaulting liquidation when an event happens. But that's not it, because furthermore, what we have is this. Reverse repo is on track to be 100% depleted by end of May 2024. So the Treasury uses money market funds to buy US bond to reduce the yield curve inversion. The RRP is down $80 billion today to $327 billion from a 2022 high of $2.56 So if we take a look at this right now, what we can see is the reverse repo to be at $327 billion. Now this is a massive decrease even compared to the previous day, which was actually Friday in terms of the $400 billion. And what we're seeing is obviously massive drops. Now, what we have to look at is right now is that the currently markets are a lie and the truth will be felt by everyone. The world is over without question. If the Fed prints more money to inject liquidity, then inflation will roar much higher and lead to conditions that will cause an even more pronounced financial market crash in the future. Kicking the can is possible, but it will just be more deadly when the fake markets come crashing to reality when a real black swan causes a tidal wave of default. And so what we've seen and what we know with the reverse repo is that it's an easy loan for shorts to access in terms of financing their positions in AMC. One of the biggest reasons for why shorts are able to create billions of naked shorts, billions of synthetics for AMC is because they have access to the reverse repo. When AMC first raised back in 2021, you can see that's actually when the reverse repo started going up and it quickly reached over $1 trillion because that's the money that shorts actually needed. Now, just like we talked about at the start, is to be seen to be depleted by end of May. Now, already what we have is many factors coming in for May is why we're linking in terms of why we're likely to see a meme 2.0 event in the coming months, aka the short squeeze. Because firstly, what we have to understand is that if the reverse repo were to be depleted by end of May, this is one of the many factors that actually affect short. Firstly, end of May, we have the CAT system implemented, which will bring full transparency to the market and actually limits the shorts from creating synthetics and naked shorting AMC. So everyone should know that is a big factor. The next factor is actually the T, T plus one reporting. And again, this creates pressure for shorts because they have less time to try and find ways to obviously manipulate AMC and manipulate the price of AMC. So that's also a big factor. And then the third factor is what we've talked about here. If 
um, we are to see that they are on track to be 100% depleted by end of May 2024, then that means the easiest loan for short to gain access to will run out. And so by the end of May, what we're seeing is the massive and the biggest solutions for these shorts to use in the past, the methods and strategies that they've used in the past to manipulate and suppress AMC are all seemingly going to be removed. And that itself is a massive, massive factor for us. But something to note is obviously talking about here, Kicking the can is possible, but it will just be deadly when the fake markets come crashing to reality. And again, everyone should know this as well, because first thing we understand is that if they were to cover AMC back in 2021, then the squeeze obviously would have been over. Yes, some firms would have took a massive hit, but the fact they didn't cover and the squeeze didn't happen back in 2021, and they've created billions and billions of synthetics going into 2024 now, when they have to cover, it's going to be a whole bigger situation now than there was back in 2021. And the same same applies for this. If they decide to kick the can, if they decide to increase the reverse repo, when even though when they shouldn't be doing, and again, allowing the shorts to create more shorts, then you guys can obviously see how it's going to come back crashing and again, cause a tidal wave of defaults. And that's what we are likely to see. And so, you know, what we have right now is actually a lot of events tied up in May. And again, very exciting to see. And it makes sense to why we're seeing the pressure actually increase for AMC right now, because again, understand this, if they are realizing what's about to happen, whether it's with, again, the prediction of what's in the coming months, whether it's with reverse repo going to zero, the CAT system, the T plus one, they know there's very uh, there's many things coming that's gonna limit how they are able to operate as a short selling firm who obviously manipulates the market. And that's why they need to make sure they can manipulate AMC as much as possible right now. Furthermore, you guys can see how the bottom is in for AMC at least it does seemingly look like two institutions. IMC Chicago sells massive amounts of AMC puts and adds calls. Their call cool position twice as big as put option one. Now, this actually ties into what we talked about yesterday. So firstly, what we know from this is understanding that, again, we are seeing many people who see uh, who were previously betting on the downside of AMC to actually all flip their bets into actually the upside in terms of the long um, term potential for AMC. And again, IMC Chicago is obviously one of them by selling their massive amounts of AMC put and adding on to calls. But not only that, it isn't just because they realized the longevity of AMC, but we've also talked about yesterday how we're seeing massive amounts of core options actually going in for the month of June. And the reason for that is because, again, they understand what's about to happen in May. So what we can see right now is that May is going to be a pretty big month. If all things were to go as announced, so that's with the T plus one fully being implemented like they promised, with the CAT system being implemented in May, like they promised and again with what we've seen with the prediction of the reverse repo going to zero by the end of may then what we can see is and understand why we're seeing so much um positive um sentiment in terms of amc going into may because they understand what's about to happen with all of these things limiting the short sellers furthermore you guys can also see this so we know that gme and amc are obviously tied up because there are a lot of mutual short sellers who are shorting both the stocks and what we can see here is the short interest ratio for amc is looking at 18.85 days to cover now this is obviously an insane amount this itself should show you how many short shares there truly are for gme and again the same conditions apply with everything we talked about with the cat system the t plus one the reverse repo going to zero what we're seeing is that if gme is also right now seeing these same um issues seeing the same factors kicking in right now then the short sellers who are both shorting amc and gme are going to be in a situation where they're going to be seeing both exposures um and whether it's naked whether it's synthetics all increasing exponentially and they will be forced to recall their shares and cover their shares and that's what is going to happen um, if they don't see any other alternatives. And again, that's why we always take a look at this. And so you guys can see how big this is. And that's why, again, going into the month of May is looking like it's very, very exciting. We have a lot of things waiting. And so what you have to understand is that the short sellers of AMC right now, as you guys can see, City has cut 7,000 people so far, which is 2,000 more than expected. And this is just the showcase of one of many short sellers in terms of the AMC space. And why I'm talking about this is understanding is that 
The fact that short sellers need to cut their employment means that they are in a situation where they realize that their capital is no longer um, free flow as good as they want, meaning they're seeing um, decreases in their financials. And again, why are they seeing decreases in their financials? Well, everything we talked about. Again, the reverse repo dropping, meaning they have less access to capital to manipulate AMC. Again, with what we talked about, how firms are buying into AMC right now, obviously creating the buy pressure. And again, Again, understanding that the CAT system, the T plus one, and many, many more is about to kick in. And that's why we're seeing short sellers in a state of panic. And guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.